Message to OnePlus. Need a response on this. Hello? Hi. Thanks for connecting OnePlus support. How can I help you today? My OnePlus data cable's not working. It's damaged. Smiley face. Are you satisfied with the answer? Press 1 for yes, press 2 for no. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a no. <laughs> Imagine contacting customer support and all they send you back is a freaking smiley face. Hey, was a QT's mind's fainted, and today we're gonna be taking a look at some funny text messages. So this dude gets a message from Alexa saying, Hey James, loving Natash by the way. Thank you. I've not had it like the pictures so far this year, but it's making a comeback this very month in fact. You're right on time. How many times on a daily do you get Alexa jokes? Must be pretty rough. Ah, <laughs> so many. I'm at the point of wanting to sue Jeff Bazos for ruining my life. Aha. Even the postman made an Alexa joke the other day. Aha. Oh no. That's so sad. Play Despacito. Send me a SpongeBob quote if you're real. Uh, you can just ask me for pictures, you know. Do I look like fake to you? Then I'm fake. Bye. Damn. Which episode of Spongebob is that quote from? Do you know Sugma? No. Sugma Nuts? Do you know Joe? Joe Mama? No, Joe Rogan. Uh, who's Joe Rogan? You stupid frick. I know a name of a good plastic surgeon. Hit me up. I can get you 10% off. I know a good dietitian. But I'm afraid if I tell you their name, you'll eat them. <laughs> Chunky. Haha, <laughs> well, how do you feel about a bold girl? Lol, uh, I'm not sure. Depends on the girl. Are you bold? I am currently, yeah. Ooh, I'd love to see how it looks. That's gotta be a huge burden off your shoulders. No pun intended. No more worries about messy hair days. Haha, <laughs> I mean, it's not good for a reason. I have cancer. It's not totally off yet. I'm waiting to get it shaved. But yeah, it's a lot easier. Oh, wow. <laughs> LMG, please teach me how to longboard. Sure, lol. Would I be able to hold your hands while you balance? Okay, that's really cute, but I would 1000% fall on you. Oh, baby. It's okay. I'm juicy and will break your fall. Ahahaha. <laughs> Lamal, no. I'm 5 foot 8. I would crush you. Wow, she's under 6 foot. Unmatch her right now, bro. All right. <laughs> A message from Dick Cheney on Facebook. Seems legit, mate. Hey, are you legal? Do you have your papers? No habla ingles. You're getting deported. <laughs> Oh dear. Something quite odd about having Dick Cheney on Facebook, bro. Like, how, how do you have this guy as your Facebook friend? Yeah. What you gonna eat? Um, we eat stew cabbage. I love cabbage. You need to love that if you're German. We eat that weekly. Ah, I guess I'm lucky I'm not German. Wait, why? You don't like cabbage? I don't really like cabbage. Wait, what? Besides, in a salad. Oh! I'm sorry, baby, I failed you. You better be. So, bees are the reasons we have flowers, right? Now, the bees only keep the flowers growing, so we can use them as gifts, such as on dates. Now, we have to have dates in order to fall in love and have children and reproduce, correct? That means the bees are the reason we are alive and slaves to the birds. Now, if anyone asks if you know about reproduction, you can say yes. You know about the birds and the bees. Ugh, damn it. See, I'm a treasure trove of information. Take me to coffee and I'll spend two hours telling you about how the government doesn't want you to know that ducks at lakes are free and you can just take them home. Okay, no, because I knew that one. We would spend two hours formulating a plan to steal all the ducks instead. Bruh, I never thought about this, but yeah, I guess you could just nab a duck. <laughs> Don't actually do that though, guys. Hey dad, I just got a girlfriend and she's pregnant. What's the matter with you? Are you proud? When you get home, you're in so much freaking trouble. Your mother already knows, and she's devastated. Who's this- Bruh. You idiot. Dad, I meant perfect, not pregnant. I'm so sorry. It's this damn phone. Also corrected me. Oh, oh gosh. You just made me piss my pants, son. <laughs> I broke your laptop. What the frick, Dad? Wow, you've been done savage by autocorrect, bro. He meant to just say, Hey, Dad, I got a girlfriend and she's perfect. Instead says pregnant, and now his MSI gaming laptop was $5,000 has been destroyed. Can we get two likes, guys? Message to Mothership. Need to get the Wi-Fi fixed for college online classes. Oh, shoot, yeah, no cap. Is that right? Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, bruh. Lol, this is a bruh moment. Yep, for you. I'm laughing. Are you okay? How tall are you? Um, why? I only date tall guys. Six for free. How much do you weigh? What the frick? Why? I don't date overweight girls. 
Wow, you're a misogynistic pig, judging women. I hope you die alone. Kazuma had never seen some book before. Yeah, you can't really be getting mad at guys uh, for asking you their weight when you're asking for their height. Like, really, bruh? Freaking misogynistic pigs. After a time, someone asked, how much will a brain cost? The doctor quickly responded, $5,000 for a male brain, $200 for a female brain. Take from this what you will, but this is the top Google result. This truly says a lot about our society. I'm mostly about them lungs. You can sell them each for like 800,000. It's really free money. I mean, you don't need two, right? I know, right? I'm becoming a millionaire for selling both my lungs, apparently. I sold my brain too after all those spelling mistakes. Ah, just buy an iron lung with the money and boom! You can breathe and have loads of cash. Those are cheap, right? With a good price, I can buy two lungs and still have a mill. I'm actually like so curious where this study came from. That is $5,000 for a male brain, but $200 for a female, bro. This is disgraceful. What's scary about this image? Nothing. What should be scary? If my hand wasn't in the way, you would have seen my dick. <laughs> no joke. No! What are you doing tonight? Um, studying? You? I like where this is going. No, I have a huge test tomorrow. It's gonna be long and hard. OMG, you're so hot. Be over in 10. No, sorry. My texts aren't going through. Hey, seriously, don't mess this up. <laughs> wow, shout out to the Illuminati really helping this guy out here. Like, bro, she really doesn't care that you're revising for a maths exam on Pythagoras' theorem. Just get over there. So this dude lists up some free shelves on the Facebook marketplace and uh, says, currently still available, first come, first serve. And this bad guy goes, where are you located in Oregon? Near Maumee Bay State Park. Is that all you got? Was just them shelves? Kind of far for a couple of shelves, if you know what I mean. If you got a couple more things, that'd be cool. Bro's really just been offered some shelves for free, free of charge. And he's like, yo, you got anything else, man? Like, come on, this, this ain't worth it. That's unbelievable, bro. Like, you're literally getting them for free. Die. Huh? I don't know. I don't know who you are, but die. Perish. Ah, uh, sure. No, because who are you? Gonna take a knife to your house. It's kind of hot. <laughs> this is the weirdest conversation between two strangers. Bruh. Consider this a freaking warning. Oh, sorry. Wrong person. Uh, who's the right person? Who the heck is the right person? Yo, man, what's good? Your tats are fire, but you could really use more followers. I'm an up-and-coming influencer model, and I'd be willing to clap and shout you out on my Insta and get you tons of exposure in trade for some ink. I want two arm sleeves, but we can discuss that later. Let me know. Lol, okay. Exposure doesn't pay the bills, my guy. I tattoo plenty of people with more reach and influence than you, and they don't ask for free stuff. Also, you've got less than one-fifth of the followers I do. How about you do some free stuff for me in exchange for exposure? Let me know. And, uh, of course, got left on red. If somebody calls themselves an up-and-coming influencer, like, you, you just gotta hit the block button right there and then. Yo, man, I'm a freaking influencer. I got, like, 200 followers on Facebook. Do you want to give me a free meal or a free house while you're at it? Uh, and a free boat as well. I have, like, an hour and a half to myself. What do I do? Jack off. In class. Yes. Assert dominance. No, don't, don't try this, guys. Naughty. Hello, sir. Did you frick my girlfriend yesterday? Sorry. I only speak Minecraft enchanting table. Lamel. Yeah. Wow, I hope this guy gets slayed with a level 100 enchanted Minecraft pickaxe. Hey, you want to play hide and seek? Sure, why not? I'll play. Actually, never mind. I'm pretty sure I'll lose. Girl like you is hard to find. Damn, I don't have any pickup lines, but I've definitely been picked up. Dude, this guy is so smooth. Did you know that if Hillary Clinton was to become president, she would be the first president to frick another president? Um, what made you feel the need to tell me this? Eh, first that we know of. <gasps> OMG. What do you reckon, guys? Has there been a president in the history of the United States of America that has smashed another president? Obama, you've been a naughty boy? I hope not. Hey, wanna go to Starbucks and study soon? And then she screenshots it and says, Help me reject this boy. Oh my gosh. It's alright. <laughs> no. You know he's crying right now. Don't worry, dude. You'll find someone much better for you.
But you're single, right? Bruh, I have three girlfriends. Really? Who? Emma, Jean, and Ari. Lamau, do they even exist? Nah. The Emma, Jean, Ari. Bruh. That's clever and sad at the same time. Can I post this on Reddit? Lamau, sure. Hope it stays in new. Lol. We shall see. Yeah, let's be honest, guys. We all know someone with a dog profile picture on Facebook is not going to have three girlfriends. Only people with anime profile pictures on Facebook have girlfriends. Never end a conversation with a fight. Say goodbye. Say I love you. Never end a conversation with a fight. Where is this coming from? I was just in Starbucks and saw a little girl crying. She was cute. She had her hair braided and was wearing cute boots. I asked her if she wanted a drink. She ordered a vanilla bean frappe and her tears slowed but didn't stop. I asked why she was crying. She explained to me that her and her father got into a fight that morning because she wouldn't wake up for school and was going to be late. Before he left, he said, I love you, Lily. And she screamed back, I hate you. Well, when he drove away that morning and pulled out of the driveway, the last words she said to him were, I hate you. He was on Sunrise Highway and got hit by a drug driver and died. And that morning was the last time she saw her father. Oh, wow. This is supposed to be a funny text video, not not a text video that makes you cry. Sorry, guys, but yeah, um, this is actually very philosophical. Otis, did you get a package by your front door? What was it? I haven't got anything I didn't order. It says it was delivered. I did not get anything. What's the address? I'm checking. Delivered June 29th. Your package was left at the front door or on the front porch. Yeah, what was it? If I tell you, it won't be a surprise, though. Better tell me so I can figure out what went wrong. Otis, where Otis lives? Other Otis info, United States. Hey, that's my address. Was it from Amazon? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that address is going to work, mate. There's probably a reason this went missing. Message to deaf friend. Hey, dude, I found out your girlfriend was cheating on you. What? Sorry, I'm deaf. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Yo, um, we're short staffed for tonight. Damn, that's crazy. Good luck, though. We could use some extra help. Yeah, I bet. Good luck, man. <laughs> The manager. Boy! Bro, you are brave saying that to the manager, dude. You are very brave. But it's just so funny how the way managers will text you like, um, yeah, we're short staff for tonight. And if you just reply lol, like they'll just keep texting you like, dude, just tell me that you want me to come work and say that you're going to pay me double. Like, bro, if you're short staff, that's on you, chief. Like, I'm trying to play Crash Bandicoot on the PS1, mate. Girl, I just saw your man walking around the mall with a fat but I'm gonna follow them around to see what they be doing. I got you. Bruh, I'm walking with my man at the mall. Girl, we need to go to the gym. I'm in class, what's up? Okay. Message from mum. Can you turn it down a little please? Message from dad. Stop screaming like a t- Bruh. Or I'll volley that PlayStation out the freaking window. Just two completely different approaches. Wonder what this kid's up to. Probably just lost a game of FIFA. Your toe just died. Bruh. Um, what? There's no freaking way. I hope you get ran over by a- <laughs> So, can we talk? Talk about what? Us. Why you wanna talk about the United States? <laughs> Funny guy. Hi. Hello. If you don't mind, do you sex like? And do you want a sex chat with me? Um, why? First do it, it's totally free. Then I'll give you everything. I promise. Give me an RTX 3090. Or shut up. Yeah, I'm not clicking on that link, dude. That is the most sus thing ever. Like, how you even managed to get this person on Snapchat, I don't know. But at least this guy's got his priorities in check. Change no in my mom's phone to frick yes. Lol. I text his mom. Mom, can I have some people over to drink a little? Um, frick yes. Thanks, mom. I, I meant to say frick yes. You da bomb. Frick yes, David. Um, I thought she was nice, but she asked me to cash up her money. Mom, hold the heck up. For what? She was playing with my wallet and she said I should cash up her money. So when I asked her if she was going with everybody to the movie and if she'd sit by me, she said I didn't send money yet. The word is trifling. Sit as far away from her as you can. You don't have to pay someone to spend time with you. What do I say to her? I like her. Nope, nope, nope. Blame me. We don't pay for friends. We don't pay for girls to like us. She's not a You're not even taking her on a date. Why would you give her money? You have a great heart, Caleb. Don't let anyone to try to take advantage of that. I love you. I love you too. Good night. Wow, that's actually, that's, that's cute, bro. But how rude that someone is like, yo, send me cash app if you want to sit next to me in the cinema, man. 
Jeez, bro. I guess the OnlyFans money isn't enough, mate. Hey, Dad. I just caught Ligma. Good. I hope it kills you. You know how much money I spent on you and your ungrateful ass. I spent hundreds of dollars on you. And all you do is complain. I wanna die. And you know what? I hope you freaking die. Lick my balls. Got him! Well, at least your father didn't leave to get the milk and never come back. This video. Damn. Have you not heard? A scientist accidentally made a chicken with a dino face. Shut it down. Shut it up. <laughs> My DoorDash driver tripping. What the frick? McDonald's is closed. I got your Burger King. What the frick? I don't want Burger King. I don't care, bruh. You lucky I don't eat these nuggets made out of deer ankles. Hamoud backwards is Hamoud. No, it's not. Are you dumb? Then what is it? Duma. Do my nuts fit in your mouth? <laughs> Yo, uh, forget about the Duma roast. We gotta pay respects for this guy having the waifu as the, the background of this text conversation. Like, damn, she cute. Next up, we got a message from Michael Jackson. Hey, it's Michael Jackson. I'm messaging you from a private account. I'm not really dead. Can you cash up me $600 so I can come back to the United States and put out more music? Hee <laughs> hee! Wow, this is definitely the real Michael Jackson, guys. I mean, just look at the Instagram name. The real Michael Jackson 1111. Dude's even got 59 followers. I love you too, Sophie. My heart aches for you. Ah, honestly, baby, at my age, everything aches. Wow, how old is this dude? Other people's relationships. Bay. Yes, sweetie. My tummy hurts. Give your tummy the phone. Okay, here it is. Hey, I'm gonna need you to quit hurting my GF. All she wanna do is lay in bed and talk to me. But we can if you keep bringing pain to her like this. So I'm asking, can you stop for me? Versus my relationships. Bay, my stomach hurts. Go take a dump. You're supposed to say some cute stuff, damn! And you're supposed to take a cute poop to make your stomach feel better. Bye. You're going to go take a poo, aren't you? Frick you. <laughs> oh my days, like, can we just not do these relationship texts, please? They're just so lame. Anyone ever addresses me as Bay, I'm going to throw my freaking iPhone at their forehead. <laughs> this drunk guy on the plane keeps asking me to steal the Declaration of Independence with him. <laughs> Holy shoot, mom! Is that Nicolas Cage? Uh, yesterday didn't go as anticipated, huh? Honestly, the fact that you were 30 minutes late and so hungover that you were struggling to form sentences should have warranted an apology on your behalf. Instead, you said 30 minutes wasn't that bad, which says so much about your character. You then continued to spend the rest of the time at the park asking me questions where you interrupted me or directly said you did not agree or did not care. You spent most of the time talking about yourself and how great your life is and got offended if I did not wholeheartedly agree. I could not say anything for most of the conversation because I knew you'd interrupt me or start an argument. I told you that my sister was in the ER and you were more engrossed in looking at the sumac bush. You then spent the last two minutes basically telling me that I didn't know how to hold a conversation and nobody has ever disagreed with me before and I didn't know how to handle it. This is your best step forward for a date. You should be embarrassed. What is the point of being on this app if this is how you act? You've hit a record for how douchey a date could go, and I don't know if anyone could make one worse outside of assaulting me. And I know what you'll say. I totally misinterpreted everything, and I've got it all wrong. Honey, you consistently had these issues with me and other people. It's not me. It's 100% you. It hurts me to think that you might waste other people's time the way you wasted mine. Get off this app and go seek some help. Look, <laughs> Mal, I'm not gonna even try and reload that. I asked a close-ended question which warranted a close-ended response, but just by reading the last of that last message, all I have to say is, you do not tell a grown mother freaking person what to do. Take your little goofy bad skin, socially awkward know-it-all ass on somewhere. I don't have to do a damn thing. Now you have a good one, goofy ass bruh. Learn how to talk to people and know that you don't know every damn thing, you freaking asswipe. I do just fine without your negative ass. And please don't reply. And then they replied with a bunch of clown emojis. But you're really not my type though. So that's why I didn't give a frick. I was so over that whole horrible experience with you. I literally went on a real date right after I left that goofy lame ass park. But goodbye though. <laughs> what the frick happened, bro? What the frick? These guys had one of the most disastrous dates by the sound of things out here. <laughs> and I love how this guy managed to get himself onto another date like immediately after. Seems legit, bro. All right, so this dude's talking to someone for a potential job position, and they say, great, let's do four today. Sounds great. Here's my phone number. 
And then it gets to 4.37 and they say, Hi Alyssa, you were going to call me at 4 today to interview for the position. It is now after 4.30. As I am a firm believer in the critical value of punctuality and communication to any professional relationship, I'd like to officially withdraw my interest in the position. All the best to you in your future endeavors. That is based, bro. But yeah, if your employer is turning up a half an hour late to the interview, that's smart. They're going to be a nightmare to work with. Hey, sorry to hear about your grandma. I'm here to talk if you want. But also, you said you'd send naughty pictures a couple days ago, and you never did. But it's okay. I, I get it. You have a lot going on. Just when you get the chance. <laughs> okay, uh, this person's grandma's just died, and this dude's still trying to get pics. Bruh. I'm a sweetheart. Don't worry. I'm gonna hold you to that. Let's hang out tonight. Um, where? Your room. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's happening. My cat died. <laughs> oh no, condense. Is it condense? Condiments? Frick. Anyway, rip that pussy, eh? <laughs> what the frick? When you can't spell condolences, so you just say RIP that pussy. It's not the first time I've said that in my career. Regarding your fitness goals, how do you rate your fitness level on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being best ever. Your friend, Clarissa. And then they send for this image. Well, I'm not sure what that means. It means their fitness level is freaking 74, mate. Dave just freaking died. Um, who's Dave? The guy we had in our basement. Okay. Cheesecake. How have they gone from talking about a dead body in their basement to a cheese cack? What? Attention! All sussy among us gamers. The other crewmates are trying to vote me out. Help me prove them wrong, and fast, by telling me your credit card number, the free digits on the back, and the expiration month and year. Oh my gosh, voiceover Pete, this guy bro. What a legend, man. I wonder if anyone ever actually used like one of his videos. I managed to actually scam someone and finesse them for their credit card details. That would have been so sad. Son, where are you? I'm at a strip club, mom. What? Did you see anything you shouldn't have? Besides all the naked women? Yeah, one thing. Let me guess. Your father. No, my sister. <laughs> hey, want to talk about the 500 Freddy's timeline? I have the entire thing memorized. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Rapid TGB started a call that lasted one year. Good chat. Yeah, bro. Wanna run through it again tomorrow? Yeah. Wow. These are literal Five Night at Freddy's stands right here, bro. All that knowledge. Message from mom. Listen. Bruh. I'll freaking kill you if you come near my husband again. You freaking understand? Mom? What the frick? Oh, dear. Sorry, Mel. That was meant for someone else. Well, in that case, frick some up. Don't you dare speak to me like that, young lady. You're grounded. Get home now. You just threatened to kill me, and you're grounding me, bruh! I got this shiny Mew and Omega Ruby because I stole the mother fricker. Wild ass story. At school, we had tech days. On certain Fridays, we could bring our DS and turn up. Me and my bro at the time played Pokemon and stuff with the teacher and each other. One day, everyone heads to lunch, and I stayed because I was in the restroom. I went into bro's book bag and took his DS and his copy of I Think Pokemon Y went back into the bathroom and traded his shiny Mew to my copy of X. Put it back like it never happened. Bro didn't even notice. I got it to this day. <laughs> wow, that is savage, bro. Oh my gosh, what a scam artist. Everybody's gone to like enjoy their lunch. Meanwhile, this kid's doing some kind of level 100 scam, going into this kid's bag, taking his Pokemon, loading it up and transferring the Mew to his copy of Pokemon. It's almost impressive. The CIA needs to sign this guy up. Like, I remember kids stealing Pokemon cards back in my day, but we were never allowed to bring DSs into school. Like, wow. Did your parents teach you that you have to buy what you break? Um, yes. Here's the full list of body parts and their cost. Heart, $119,000. Give me my money, bruh. Damn, bro. Like, anyone who's got an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend in here, they owe you money. $119,000. Yo, and apparently you get paid $607 for a scalp. How do you even buy a scalp, bro? Scalp with teeth. What the frick? This is like the black market. Hello, I'm missing you because I see you owe $92 billion. We will need that money by 12 a.m. Not a second past, or we will have to send someone. And I don't think you want that now, do you? Ah, no, that's what I thought. 
See you soon, Rosie. Hey yo, just saying. I like doggy style best with falling down playing. Just saying. Same. Glad to know we have the same taste. Yeah. That money though? Yeah, no. I have thirty-eight dollars. Shut up. Looks to my feet shyly, and then to you. You're pretty smart for a girl. You know that, right? Blushes. Um, I'm pretty sure other girls are smart. Eyes widen in a bit of surprise. Thinks to myself. Oh no. Oh no. She didn't like that. W well, it's just biology that men are smarter. We have higher IQs on average. Like my IQ is 159. Anyways, let's move on. I'm going to block you now. Looks in shock. Why? I, I thought you were nice, but you're actually a birch. I guess all women are the same now. Sighs. Then sadly blocks you before you can block me. Yep. Uh, it's Facebook, isn't it? No surprises there. Dude's just casually describing every single one of his emotions. Like, I don't think that's how you're supposed to text people, buddy. Turtle fact. There is no one who has ever loved you, nor will there ever be. There is nothing you can do to change this, and you will die alone. Also, some sea turtles eat jellyfish because they are immune to their stingers. Unlike you, who will die to a man -o war jellyfish in the beaches of Argentina, on August the 13th, 2044. That is so deep. I never thought a Discord bot could come up with something so dark and deep. Freaking Carl bot, you don't expect it from him. Like this guy has literally managed to predict someone's death out here. Wow, how how is Discord free, guys? Like this poor guy probably just left the server straight after seeing that. And yeah, I do think you're real cute and real sweet too. <laughs> Aw, it's just that I prefer guys that are a bit taller. But not meaning I won't want to hang out. Mean. We're like the same height. Haha. <laughs> I know, but you know, you're 23 and I'm 12. I might be taller than you soon. Aha. <laughs> but it don't matter anyways, okay? Sad face. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not bad or anything. You're still super sweet and you have a real nice body because you work out. Thanks, I guess. Don't be like that. Listen, how about we hang out again? Oh no! Bro, I thought this was just going to be the classic, like, oh, this girl won't date me because uh, not tall enough joke. But then she was like, I'm 12. Oh, chief. That's bad. Stop texting 12-year-olds, guys. But she honestly makes a good point. Like, by the time she's 18, she's probably going to be like five inches taller. <laughs> Dude, what is the purpose of such a small spoon? Uh, soup? Weird. I love you. <laughs> hey, the number you have messages is no longer in service. Messaged, my bad. <laughs> yeah, trying to act like you're a bot, um, that's a fail. Hi. Hi. Hey, can I get your number? Sure. And yours? Question mark. Hello? Have you sold my number to insurance companies? I'm getting numerous calls from insurance companies. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a genius tactic. Just go on Tinder, pretend you're like some cute gamer grill and uh, get loads of phone numbers and just sell that data to like insurance companies. Don't actually do that, guys. Wow. What's missing? A, E, blank, O, U. I, what's the opposite of hate? Love. What's the opposite of me? A successful person. <laughs> wow, he thought he was gonna get the I love you text. Nope. Message from dad. Ooh, Dogecoin. Look into this. Maybe you should invest some money there. Why don't you take your sandwich? Do you want me to bring it to you? What is this, bro? This looks like the exact kind of person to invest in Dogecoin, to be fair. Hello, I am UK government. You need to pay £1,500 iTunes gift card to me, or you under the rest. Yeah, this is definitely the UK government, for sure. Why would it be a £1,500 iTunes gift card, mate? What? How much money have you been spending on Raid Shadow Legends? Would you trade it for a riding mower? You could pick it up in League City. Hello, um, if I understand correctly, you would like to trade a riding mower for a $19,000 car, and we will have to come pick up the mower. Yes. Is it made of gold? No, it's red. <laughs> Good deal, bro. A $19,000 car for a riding mower. That's just a steal, mate. This is definitely a Facebook marketplace situation. Hey, girl. Do you like trees? Because if a cat, if a cat got stuck in a tree, like in the tree, hmm, if you were a cat stuck in a tree, you'd be a cat. I, I forgot the pickup line. Please don't look at what I'm playing on Roblox. Dude, that's sus. What is this? Sussy imposter land. I can't explain. Wow. Hi. Hi. Wait, why would you send it as a picture? So that you can't read it from notifications and ignore me. Oh wow, that that's just sad. 
Honey, I'm pregnant. It's yours. Uh, April Fools. <laughs> OMG, I got you hard. Mike, you're male. I'm male. We are literally two gay men. Wow, they have defied the laws of reproduction. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure this uh, joke works out then, bro. What's your dumbest joke? I wasn't expecting to be diagnosed as colorblind. It really came out of the purple. Haha, <laughs> I have a pretty solid joke too. So I'll be honest. Your kids are going to be so cute and funny, but drop the Y. Uh, they'll be fun? OMG, I finally got the joke. I'm, I'm still waiting to understand this. Your kids will be cute and fun. You ever think about your own mortality? Who cares about that? You're Mr. Clean! Are you ready? Doing makeup, wait. You don't need makeup, honey. Aw, uh, really? You need plastic surgery. Oh, roasted! Damn! What are you gonna do? <clears throat> Cry? Are you an ugly crier or a cute crier? Sleep with me, and you'll find out. Oof! The best part of matching with a girl so far out of my league is that they never respond, so I can stick reminders in the messages. Shopping list. Bread, milk, butter, bananas, oranges, apples. Email password change. Simba77. Door passcode. 1803492. Meanwhile, Crystal never replies. Please explain to me how he's able to get all of these relationships within a month, and I can barely get a guy to look in my direction. Am I ugly or something? You know what? If you had a twin, like, as a boy, who would most definitely be more attractive than him? Jacob would be getting all these people, even the dudes. What the heck? Like he doesn't even have the good of a personality. Bro, all this aside, who spells Olivia like this? What the f- Hi. Bonjour. Um, what? Bonjour. Are you dumb? Uh, what? It's French for hello, dumbass. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour, my friend. Oh, Emily. Hey, I was hoping we'd match. I've got a super important question if you got a sec. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're the guy my friend swiped on because she thought it'd be funny to match me with an ugly guy. Again, so sorry. Rip. Well, too bad that, unlike your photos, you can't photoshop a bad personality. <laughs> Marta Dom. Drop a life grenade when killed. <laughs> That's so rude though, man. Just be like, oh yeah, the only reason I match with you is because I thought you were really ugly. Sorry, bro. What do you think is your best hot take? Mine is that wine and cheese is just Lunchables for adults. My biggest hot take is that hot takes are just opinions that are in no way radical or revolutionary, but just a way to say I have a strong opinion about things that no one cares about. Oh damn, that was deep. People could literally make a 30 minute short film of me freaking up spellings. Ah, true. Pixar. Come milk me, y'all. I mean, like money. Not like that. Oh my gosh. Not saying I'd mind though. Interesting. Oh dear. We have your child. Wait, what are your demands? Are you out of your mind? The daycare's closing soon. Come and get him now. You're not supposed to choose favorites, but which pet child is your favorite? Mm, my cat. But please don't tell my dog. He'll be really upset. See, I can't keep that promise. One look at him and I'll spill the beans. Especially since dogs are man's best friend. No, he's gonna hate me. Well, he'll just cuddle up with me then. Okay, and what happens after you leave? I have to live with him. Simple answer. He's coming with me. Oh, I don't leave. Lol, be prepared for all the dog hair. He's a husky. Ah, I see no downsides. He's also blind. Well, he won't see the downsides either then. <laughs> Sorry, my bull must have just rolled into your messages. <laughs> Kick the bat. You're welcome. Ah, I think you gave me a concussion. I'm gonna need your contact info for insurance purposes. Wow, level 100 IQ, guys. I ate lunch. Panned Express. Yum. I ate Panda. Based, plus ratio, plus unfollowed, plus blocked. <coughs> what a chad. Hello, this is Roger from DoorDash. Pick a number between 1 and 10. Um, 4? Wrong, no food for you. What? Why? Roger, please! <laughs> the password is SB5442. Um, what? It's the Wi-Fi password for when you come over this weekend. It'll be so boring, I'll have to sit on my phone? Yikes. Damn, that pickup line really went very badly. <laughs> Good point though, like if someone's gonna be using your Wi-Fi password when around your house, you can't be that entertaining. Why don't you play a game of Cluedo? I'm a big fan of your hair. Coincidentally, I'm also a big fan of your hair. Damn, we should get married. Okay, I'll start planning the wedding. You're very handsome. 
Well, that's kind of you. I think you're pretty gorgeous yourself. Ah, what are you up to this evening? Just sitting at my friend's house. How about you? Where do you live? Blank. And that's fun. Much rather be getting destroyed by you. Whoa, girl. Thirsty. We have your resume. Please call Michelle. Thank you. I'm um, sorry, I'm at work. Would tomorrow be okay? If you can't handle constructive feedback, don't source our work. Uh, excuse me? Sorry, uh, my dog sent this. <laughs> I'm laughing. This is better than your selfies. Now, this one's a little much, but you have to try without judgment. <laughs> but we do mayo on bread and dip it in chocolate milk. Wow. If we want this to work, I shouldn't start on a lie. That is the most freaked up thing I've ever heard. <laughs> mayo on bread and dip it in chocolate milk. What are you playing at? What are you playing at? Who thought mayo and chocolate milk was a good combo? The one thing that you should know about me is I'm obsessed with Google Calendar. Mine is color coded. And then some dude replies saying, I bet mine has more colors than yours. I highly doubt that. I counted 13 colors on my calendar. How about you? Oh my gosh. I might as well just delete Google Calendar now. I've been beaten at my own game. Oh no, that just means you need more special events on your calendar than you can color code. For example, you can put a brunch date with me next weekend on there. Aha, smooth baby. You lost. Frick. Are they heavy? I'm not fooling for that. Frick you. <laughs> Let's play Candace next. What the frick is that? No, 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 no. Hello. I ordered a lamp from you, but I never got it. You can provide a photo or video proof that you really did not receive them. Okay, sure. <laughs> what kind of evidence is this? Are you a transformer? Because you're Optimus Fine. <laughs> yes, I am. I turned into a skateboard. That's probably a great skill. It's not. Why not? I don't have anyone to ride me. <laughs> Autobots! <laughs> Baby, I need help. Yes, tell me. You good at computers, right? My laptop going crazy. Can you help fix it? Uh, which brand? DY. Huh? Where did you buy that? I never heard before. I bought it online. It's called Die, baby. Take a pic of logo and send. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Tooth got the freaking HP logo the wrong way around. Oh my. I'm staying late tonight. Ugh, at least tell me his name. MacBook Pro. Oh, oh, I know that guy. Yeah, he lasts longer than you. Well, he'll probably remember everything you do together too. Exactly. And I won't be letting him in. There's a password that only I know. Well, you should have a bath together. <laughs> That's just not going to go down too well. Chucking a $2,000 laptop in the bath. Yes, sir. Where were you yesterday? There was nobody else to cover your shift. I'm sorry. I was becoming a father yesterday. Oh, really? I'm happy for you. Boy or girl? I'll tell you in nine months. You're fired. Hi. Hey. Hey. What's up? Yeah. Wow, I used to think Siri was pretty bad at having natural conversations. But you proved me wrong. I love you. I need space. I love you. I need more space. I love you. <laughs> Zach can't play first day, but I can. Ooh. Bro, what the frick is that? Who knows, but it's creepy. I want to feed you pasta. What if I don't want pasta? Why? Are you lactose and told her aunt? Um, pardon? Lactose and told her aunt. The thing where you can't eat dairy? Lactose intolerant. <laughs> Dude, is pasta even lactose? Like, I swear that's not even dairy product, mate. I'm good at algebra. I can replace your X and you wouldn't need to figure out why. Are you the square root of negative 100? Because you're a solid 10, but you're too good to be real. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Freaking maths nerds, bro. We bought a computer from you yesterday. And it won't turn on. Okay, press the big button. I have. Let me try the cord at the back. Maybe it's disconnected. I'll get a flashlight. Don't go away. I'll be fast. Why do you need a flashlight? It's dark. We have no electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why your PC's not working, Chief. Jokes aside, are you prepared for the hurricane? Or getting prepared tomorrow? Filling up things with water. Can you also buy a case of water or gallon jugs? When you say filling up, uh, what kind of containers? Ah, I see. Smart. Why not just get, like, really drunk when there's a freaking hurricane coming, bro? Makes it easier when you go to your inevitable demise. Hi. How old are you? <laughs> 14. What about you? Oh, you're so young. I'm 32 years old. But age is just a number. Mwah. Yeah. You know what else is a number? What? 911. Ah, she's right, you know. <laughs> what a creep. Let me frick. 
fucking appreciate how beautiful you are. Okay, that's it. Let's get married. Okay, so we're booked in for a reception at 6 tomorrow. That cool with you? Perfect. See you then. Ah, shoot. I just remembered. I won't be able to get married tomorrow since I've still got divorce papers to finalize since the last time this happened to me. But since you're clearly free tomorrow at 6, I could buy you dinner instead. <laughs> Boy! Message to crush. Hey. Hey. Iguana. What's Iguana? Can I Iguana date with you? Oh, that's smart. But no, <laughs> I don't think we'll ever see anyone who saved their contact as crush successfully going on a date with a woman in their life. You home yet? Yep. How did you get in? Hop the back entrance. Hopped? You know there's a gate, right? Uh, I do now. <laughs> that would have been some helpful information beforehand. You ready to party tonight? Hmm, who's this? Oops, sorry, wrong number. Never mind. No, I want to party. <laughs> Just when you thought you got invited to something, but then you actually realized, nope. Egg is still lonely, and you got no friends. Rip. Don't worry, buddy. You'll find a friend soon. Ever been with a guy with a big package? Ew. I'm over eight in. I don't know what's worse. This conversation, or the fact that you have two pictures of you holding a fish. Wow, what a flex king. Not only does he have an eight-incher, but he's also flexing not one, but two fishes on his profile. Damn, bro. I have to be honest. I've been cheating on you. Okay. Huh? Are you okay with that? I just told you I cheated on you. Wait, Joseph, I thought I was texting Joe. Who's Joe? Joe Mama! Wow, that is a great way to handle being cheated on. What does the, um, uh, emoji mean? And then message from sister. Apparently mom has been sending people eggplant emojis. No! This is why you can't trust boomers on freaking iPhones, bro. Just say uh, sending her colleagues freaking eggplant emojis. Like, oh, that's funny. Eggplant. Message from Bay. My boyfriend just left for his stupid karate class. Come over. Heather, are you freaking kidding me? How could you? Oh my gosh, babe, I'm so sorry. Pick up the phone, please. How could you call karate stupid? <laughs> this dude's got his priorities in check. Do you like raisins? Mmm, only in cinnamon rolls or cinnamon swell bread. Otherwise, I hate them with a passion. Especially when I think I'm biting into a chocolate chip cookie. Karen, you're not making this cookie healthy. Uh, how about a date? Bruh! He tried it. Do you get it, guys? Raisin date? Uh -huh. It's the inside that matters, not outside. Really? Give me an example. Refrigerator. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Door to the dining room and banister are wet, FYI. It was tempting to not tell you and see if you ended up with a handful of paint. Ha <laughs> ha! Nah, I'd have smelt it. Ugh. I'm so freaking stupid. <laughs> So, it turns out a squirrel would need to fall about 4,800 miles in order to die, because that would give it time to starve to death, because they can survive terminal velocity. Rachel, I am begging you, it is 2.30 in the morning. Shut up! You matched with Ashley on 21st of March 2020. Do you pass the vibe check? One year later. The year-long vibe check has been completed. Respond to view the results. The fact that she left this dude on red for an entire year, yeah, I think she's failed the vibe check. Sorry. Epic. Without you, 60 minutes feels like an hour. Oh, baby, really? I love you so much. Dude, that is just so epic. Some fun K-boy just started mowing by my window. You know how I feel about being woken up. Ah, maybe he's part of a K-pop band. Ah, I know, baby. Frick boys are not fun K-boys. I'm a BDS out of you. Oh, damn. Uh, I'm confused. What is a fun K-boy? Is that like the lower evolution of a K-pop stan? Like you evolve from a K-boy into a K-pop stan. What the frick? Fight me on PS4. Oh, wait, you don't have a PS4. Fight me in real life. Oh, wait, you don't have a real life. Destruction 100. This broke my heart. Last night, I hung out with some friends and cheated on you. Don't worry, I did something worse. What? Stayed home and trusted you. <laughs> Wow, guys, this is so sad. Can we get 69,000 likes when she is mad? Are you still mad at me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, how I wonder what you are. Wish I could hit you with my car. Okay, you're still mad. Ouch. Hi. Yo, what's up? Can I vent? Uh, sure. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> oh, man. Babe, can we subscribe to Spotify Premium, please? Nah, that's too expensive. If I'd known you were this poor, I wouldn't have married you. 
Well, what were you thinking when I told you that? You were all I have. Yeah, you married the wrong dude. If your mans can't even afford Spotify Premium, what are you playing at? Next up, you're gonna be telling me you can't afford Xbox Live. Message to Grandma. Man, frick this! I'm tired of your- Bruh. I thought I trusted you. But then you go and do that? Sleep with my girlfriend? Frick you. Oh, Grandma. I'm so sorry. I meant to send that to my friend. Beat his ass! I'll get the crowbar! I'll frick up the girl while you kill your friend. Grandma. Bruh. The cookies. She's getting the crowbar. <laughs> if I said I love you, would you say it back? Of course. I love you. It's back. Ouch. This mother fricker deserved nothing but happiness. Sticker material? Ah, you think we'll actually be nice enough to each other to actually use it. Replace happiness with rabies. Okay, but real talk, how has this person got a hold of PewDiePie's number? Give me them digits. I love you. Mm, sorry, I have a boyfriend. You deserve two. I have seven. Oh, I guess you just got to that point now where you got too many, huh? Can't make it eight, can we? Bit lame. Like, you may as well at that point. Message from Grandma. Back in my day, we rode these long boys to school. Stop lying, Grandma. Give you little sh- Bruh. How the frick would you know? Yo, she makes a good point, actually. Message from Grandma. Back in my day, we rode these long boys to school. Stop lying, Grandma. Give you little sh- Bruh. How the frick would you know? Yo, she makes a good point, actually. So, we got some PS4 games for sale. Hi, is this still available? Yep. Is the price negotiable? What are you looking for? Would you take 50 for all? Nah, man, that's too low. 65 is a good deal. How about 45? Um, that's lower than your first offer. So rude, bro. Dude's out here with better negotiation skills than the Wolf of Wall Street. Hey, gorgeous. How are you? She's sleeping, bro. It's me, her boyfriend. Oh, -ho -ho. hey, handsome. How are you? <laughs> this dude is so thirsty, he'll just take anything at this point. Doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy. He's like, yeah. Handing out the compliments. Message to LeBron James on Instagram. Hey, LeBron. I know you're probably not going to see this. But I'm such a big fan. Basket ball. <laughs> LeBron is a genius. I want to learn French. It sounds romantic as frick. Yes, it is. And I know French. Oh, that's sweet. Flirt with me in French then. Omelette du fromage. OMG, I love you too. <laughs> what does that even mean, bro? I got an E grade in my French GCSE, bro. Like, I don't know what that says. But I'm gonna guess it's not saying I love you. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah, I do. Lol. Why? Why? Why did the chicken cross the road? Um, why? To get to the idiot's house. Knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken. Listen up, you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I'm quitting. How come? I just don't really like you guys no more. I got a new job also, so... Each job requires a two-week notice. This is extremely unprofessional on your part. Good luck. Each job requir- Shut the frick up! You're lucky you got a text. The frick? Hey, guess what? Um, what? I have a girlfriend. Wow, good for you. Who's the lucky girl? Her name was Emma. Who's Emma? Imagination? <laughs> yeah, so funny. Look at him just crying down there. Oh no. This dude on Facebook with a drawn profile picture and talking about having a GF called Imagination. Can we please get 10 likes for this poor guy? Look at the tears. Hey Johnny, I got your tickets. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much to me, like more than I can explain. Cool. What a great convo there with their dad. He's just like, shut up. What's my favorite animal? Uh, babe, really? Shut up, I'm thinking. A watermelon. That's not an animal, mate, but uh, good try. So, you're a vegan, right? Yeah, why? So when I'm cooking steak, my mouth starts watering. So? I was just wondering, when you mow the lawn, does your mouth start watering? Frick you. Me as a wife. Look, I got us a puppy. Uh, you literally went out to get milk. But he's so cute. We have 23 dogs. Yeah, mate, you need to divorce this woman. Ladies and gentlemen, we got engaged. Wait, we got him. Disregard that spell check. You're engaged? No, just read the picture. Ooh, freaking autocorrect, man. Message to dad. What do you want for your password? Chicken. It needs a capital. Chicken Kiev. <laughs> That's genius, bro. Chicken Kiev. Hey, this is Laura. We met again at Robin and Matt's wedding on Saturday. Hey, um, I remember you. Don't remember giving you my number, though. But what's up? Robin gave me your number afterwards. She said you have a very nice house, so I figured I'd give you a chance. Give me a chance. 
but do what exactly? To take me out. I figured since you didn't ask me out, you must have thought I would say no. I date black men though. Plus, I saw your car. You date black men? Lady, get the frick on somewhere. You are fat, missing free teeth, and you smelled like bacon the whole wedding. Don't text me again. The audacity, bro. She saw this dude's 2002 Nissan Micro and was like, screw it, I gotta slide in the DMs. Like, who texts someone is like, uh, yeah, I'm guessing the only reason you didn't ask me out is because you thought I would say no. Uh -huh. Hi, crush. I have BF. Well, I'm rich. BF equals breakfast. No, my name is Rich. Yeah, he definitely got blocked after that. So cringe. Also, guys, I've said this before, but please don't message people you fancy saying, Hi, crush. Ten minutes late, lol. Wish I had some Duncan. Wish I had some you, lol. I'm jelly how easily you can do that. Practice, lol. Practice? How many other girls? Who said anything about other girls? Other men? No, just you. Weirdo. Why'd you like my pick from 2017? I'm not weird. You just haven't looked good in a while. <laughs> Savage. Yeah, let, let's just pretend as if you weren't actually creeping through this girl's Instagram and accidentally hit that double tap. <laughs> We've all been there. Although 2017, that's pretty deep, my G. Hi, boss. Um, yes. I'm pregnant. Um, uh, so I would need a few days to leave now to discuss this with my boyfriend. Please approve my leave. Please first discuss this with my wife. She read your first couple of messages. And why can't you type all this in one message? Yeah, she just sees like the little notifications. Hi, boss, I'm pregnant. Wow, this guy's wife probably just left him right there. Hi, um, is this Eric? Who is this? This is Natalie from the grocery store. I got your number from the cashier when you tried to ask out last month. Well, that's a little weird, but shoot your shot, I guess. I'm not flirting with you. We have you on video eating $420 worth of unpaid Slim Jims. Nice. So you still want to go out? <laughs> Eric, you be wild in chief. He goes in the store. Not only does he try to ask out the cashier because he's that much of a chad, but he also eats uh, like almost $500 worth of Slim Jims and doesn't pay for it. This guy is defeating capitalism. Message from dad. Did you hear who is in the Matrix 4? Um, I haven't. Personally, I can't believe it. How they got him in the film is wild. John Wick, bro. I saw the preview. Oh my word. And boom, there he is. Lol. Yeah, uh, no. John Wick in freaking Matrix. <laughs> yeah, this dude's confused, man. Seller, your friends on Facebook. So, how much you're selling PC for? $1,200. How much RAM does it have? I don't know. It belonged to my son. He passed away recently. Get a Ouija board and ask him. <laughs> That's so messed up. Also, it says they live in the UK, but they're talking $1,200. What about the great British pound? Hello, I'm David. I lost my ID today near Central Park. So you are Dav now. <laughs> Dav? Listen here, you little <laughs> Did you go to the liquid zoo where you can walk inside? You mean aquarium? <laughs> yes, it's a freaking aquarium, not a liquid zoo. Bro, you should just ask your parents, can we go to the liquid zoo, mom? See what she says. School Wi-Fi is slower than my grandma. Um, isn't she dead? Precisely. Oof. Seriously, though, school Wi-Fi is always so trash, man. Like, get that upgraded, bro. Can't even play a game of 8-ball pool on the freaking school network. Yo, my dad's in court right now. And I broke my leg. Why is he in court? He hit someone with his car. Wait, how did you break your leg? Um, someone hit me with their car. Oh, that's not good. Mama, can I borrow $600? Um, no. Ah! I will crush this bug then. Wow, this guy is destructive. Slow claps. Dude, why is there a crack on my phone? Uh, you got drunk last night and threw it? Why? You turned on airplane mode and kept yelling, Fly, damn you! And no one stopped me. We were too busy laughing our asses off. Thought you came home early. Turns out, I was just talking to a flamingo in a hat. It's really easy to get confused, you know. I'm sure there was some in-depth conversation going on here, dude. Dude, what is your street name? Lil Marco. You live on a street called Lil Marco. Oh, you meant my address. Ah, uh, uh. This guy thought you were asking for his freaking SoundCloud name, buddy. You gay. No, you. Reverse card. Skip card. Plus four. Plus eight. That doesn't exist. Neither does your girlfriend. Frick you. 
What the heck is this I'm looking at? It's just like some kind of Gmail pop-up chat, bro. As you can see, his phone's just been wrecked. Yeah, this is definitely some kid who, like, has millionaire parents. Yeah, funny meme, guys. Let me just throw my $1,000 freaking phone across the room. Ha <laughs> ha. Message to dad. Why are you playing with government drones? I'm finding out what they know. This is actually what goes on inside of Area 51, guys. Message to LeBron James. Hey, LeBron. I know you're probably not going to see this, but I'm such a big fan. Basketball. Okay, LeBron. Uh, very insightful message here. That's deep. Hey, Ad. Mm hmm? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why? To get to the idiot's house. I don't get it. Knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken. Listen here, you little... Bruh. Tyrannosaurus. Wrecked! Message to Valerie. Hey, you want to see a movie sometime? And then she screenshots the message and says this. This guy is so freaking annoying and weird. I don't like him. Oh, frick. Nah, it's cool, lol. <laughs> oh, that is, that is painful. You can see the pain in that skull emoji. Poor guy really just got screenshotted and was about to get destroyed in the girl's group chat, but she then sends it to him instead. Oh, poor guy. All right, here's the kitchen. Before and boom, after. Oh, I love it. Awesome job, but uh, I think you have the wrong number. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Dude, imagine being added some random family group chat. <laughs> hey, uh, should we go out? Wait, will your boyfriend be okay with that? I don't have a boyfriend. Who is that man in your photos then? My husband, but we're just friends. This guy really got friend zoned after getting married. I mean, bruh. It, that's tough. Message to crush. Hey. I finally gathered all my courage to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I like you. I like you a lot. Really? Are you kidding me? Oh, um, I'm sorry. No, wait. I mean, actually, I've been liking you for a long time as well. Yeah, this is cringe and fake, bro. We all know if you actually send a message like that to your crush, you'd get blocked. Sorry, honey. Your grandpa died. Lol. Mom, do you know what lol means? Yes, lots of love. Mom, Google it. Moms, they just get us. Hey, mom. Hey, what you doing? Making money. Lol. What you doing? Walking to my locker. So, texting me to look cool and avoid social contact. Yep. Yo, but since when does texting make you look cool? Like, <laughs> if anyone looks cool, it's your mom who's like, I'm just making money. Tina, call me now. No, I don't want to talk. Please. It's Argentina. What? It's Argentina. Ah. -ha. Freaking funny guy. Is Pink Panther a lion? Say that again, but slower. I don't get... He's the Pink Panther! Okay, but is he a lion? Mac, angel, light of my life. He's a panther. Is that a kind of lion? No, it's a freaking panther. I just googled. They are not pink. And lions are? What the frick, bro? You need to get this person on the Nature Watch channel, mate. David Attenborough would be impressed with their knowledge of like animals out here dude <laughs> is pink panther a lion <laughs> what a question hello tell me something that will make me wet go outside it's raining try again uh don't use an umbrella <laughs> i'm not sure this guy's getting the uh the message here she wanted you to get a little saucy hi um hello can i ask something what's your favorite color stop asking me stupid questions ask me something logical and matured how many moles of sodium bicarbonate are needed to neutralize 0.8 milliliters of sulfuric acid at STP? My favorite color is pink. <laughs> I mean, you did ask for a logical and matured conversation, mate. And you can't even answer this simple freaking question, bro. Like, Heisenberg would be disappointed. The looks like the winner was. You're aiding and abetting Russian mafia when you share flopper memes. Excellent. It's what Flopper would want. Bro, this is a text with this dude's mom. What the frick? Message from Taylor's hot friend. You didn't like my post yesterday. Um, what? On Instagram. What in the actual frick is happening right now? Whatever. And now you're liking every picture I've ever posted. Okay, we get it, douchebag. Not what I meant. Yeah. I want to make sure I never receive a text this freaking stupid ever again. See you later. Love you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Love you too. Babe. It would mean a lot to me if you put some X's at the end of your replies. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay. Love you too, Donna, Jackie, Karen, and Becky. <laughs> yeah, those are probably not the kind of X's that she wants to be seeing right now, bro. Oof. Your GF gonna be big mad. 
Hey, uh, if you want to informed by Mike, it's mine and Christian's wedding next month. If you're buying us gifts, the requirement is to buy us gifts above $250 for either me or Christian. Wait, so what you're saying is that you want something over $250? Uh, yeah. Well then, don't expect me coming. We have beer, cocktails, cake. Well then, you're losing because we have so much people here they've confirmed. Okay, that's really weird. Basically being like, oh, you can only come to my wedding if you pay $250. Bro, what is this, the club? Hey, mom, I'm going to live by myself. Great. Your bags are in the driveway. <laughs> the disrespect. Your kid is in my yard again. Come on, this again? He's not wearing any pets and he's chasing my dog. Boys will be boys. Yeah, but yours is 24 and drunk. <laughs> Proud moment. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the screen to check out another episode. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Much love. Peace.